Hi, my name is Linda Chappelle. I have the honor of working at Child Care Services Association to support Durham's goal of preschool for all. We are working hard with all of our community partners and with you to build universal access to publicly supported four-year-old classrooms. This audacious goal sets Durham apart from many communities. We have shifted our thinking from identifying disparities that separate different children to creating equitable opportunities that help all children thrive. We see this investment in early education as foundational to the future health, achievement, and wealth of all of our children. The success of Durham's children rests upon the work you are about to begin as you welcome new children into your classroom. We know that this work takes practice, partnering, learning, and leadership. And we appreciate your dedication to children. The global health pandemic has been stressful to everyone, including our children. As we look towards resuming school amidst evolving changes, it will take time as children and adults alike adjust. Our new normal may still include varying degree of uncertainty, stress, change, and exposure to trauma. As you support children in your classrooms during this time, I wanted to share my belief that you have more power than almost anyone. You have the ability to create classrooms that give children the opportunity to, for authentic and empowered participation and give children a true sense of belonging, whether they meet in person or virtually. Your classroom is a community and we all need community. When school begins, you may notice challenging behaviors, emotions, and social interactions. These behaviors may feel overwhelming. The important thing to keep in mind is that you can help your children adjust and cope. Check in with yourself and reflect on your own emotional state. How are you feeling? Are you anxious? Are you present? Calm? Are you worried? Have you paid attention to processing your own thoughts and feelings about the many changes and various ways that this health crisis has impacted you? If you notice yourself feeling stressed, what will help you to center so that you can respond instead of react? Are you regularly practicing self-care? Please take a minute and take several very deep breaths. We cannot help children to calm down if we are not able to feel calm ourselves. Remember that you can be the emotional buffer for your children by nurturing your relationships. A high quality, positive, responsive relationship is one of the strongest protective factors for children's resilience and is foundational for children's well being. Offer your attention, even if just for several minutes. Strive for five, five positive interactions for every one negative interaction with every child. Having a special greeting specific phrase, showing a shared interest in a topic or activity the child enjoys are all great ways to build connection 
and communication and really building a sense of being seen and heard for each child. We know that the return to school will provide reassuring routines for children. Maintaining and reminding children of expectations and rules will help them feel safe. Your patient and positively stated directions will assure their success. Children need you. Creating opportunities for children to process their experiences through play, to talk about their feelings and emotions is going to help them know that all of their feelings are okay. As you get to know your children and their parents, it will be so important during these trying times for you to collaborate with them. If you share routines, ideas, and successes, it will establish a sense of togetherness, communicating that we will get through this together. We are going to need to nurture communication. We're going to need to nurture that connection because connection looks so different during these times. We will need ways of connecting with families relying even more on phones and computers. The frequency of communication may need to increase to support children's needs and to provide reassurance to families that may be worried about health and safety. Perhaps talking in person before or after the day will not be possible due to new pickup or drop-off procedures or for staffing needs, but a quick texted photo sent during a break might be just the reassurance that a parent needs. Wearing masks and other personal protective equipment can feel impersonal and uncomfortable for adults and may be scary for children. We will rely more on body language as well as expression in our eyes and brows to help children know how we feel. When we lose some of those cues communicated in facial expressions, it will mean that we will have to work harder. We can be particularly sensitive about the tone of our voice and we'll have to compensate for having half of our face covered. Let's remember that social and emotional development promotes school success. Focusing on and prioritizing emotional well-being is of the utmost importance during this time. The time you take to connect individually with children to ensure that they feel loved, nurtured and supported is a key influence in their development. The research is clear. Social and emotional well-being is fundamental to children's success. As you teach this school year, I hope you use your power to create an amazing classroom community. And I sincerely thank you for being a key leader in Durham's bold vision of pre-K for all. Have a great school year.